it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to put together these adorable holiday favor boxes. They come in two sizes, but of course, you can enlarge them or make them smaller. Make them whatever size you want. They are perfect to hold several small treats, and the large one can even hold a gift card. They are easy to make with our downloadable cuttable. You get SVG files and PNG files so you can create all six with or without a cutting machine. If you're using a Cricut, I've created a separate tutorial that tells you how to attach and use the contour tool with these boxes. I'll put a link to that video in the description box. I've gone ahead and cut out all the pieces we need to start making these cute boxes. I recommend cardstock for these favor boxes. So let's start with a snowman. The small snowman has the box, the snowman base, and has the nose, two eyes, two arms, a mouth, and two pieces for the hat. Start at the top and attach the hat to the snowman, and then the band to the hat. Now for the eyes. I'm using white glue to attach the eyes, and I'm placing them in with tweezers. Now the nose, and the smile. Let's make the box. Take the box and fold it along the score lines. Bring the two sides with the tabs to the center and slide one of the tabs with a slit over the tabs. Put whatever you wish into the box and then slide the remaining sides slot, <laughs> that's really hard to say, over the tabs to seal. This side is the side we'll decorate. Once you place the head, it should lean up against the tab for support. Now add adhesive on the back of the snowman's head along the middle from side to side. I like to add a little above where the box bends the most so that the snowman is looking a little bit upward and leaning back up against the tabs. Now attach the arms to the box. I think he's adorable. I can see adding buttons down the front of him. Now let's do the reindeer. Besides the box base, the reindeer has nine pieces. The head base, the top and bottom of the head, along with the eyes and nose. To decorate the box, I've included a little bell and a collar and a link to hang the bell on. Start with the top of the reindeer and attach it to the base with glue, lining up the ears and under the antlers. I like to use glue just because it gives me a little open time to move things around and line things up properly before it sets. Now I'll add his muzzle to the bottom. and finally his nose. And I think I'm gonna pop that up with a little bit of foam tape and glue on his eyes. And finally his cute little mouth. Now that the reindeer's face is complete, let's work on his body. I've cut the box base with the dashes and I'll fold the two sides of the tabs up, bringing the tabs to the center. Bring up one of the sides with the slots and slide the tabs into the slot. And I'll do the same for the other side. Remember, this is the side we'll decorate. Just so you can see the placement of where the adhesive will go, I'm placing it on the box above the bowed out part. That will allow the face to be upturned and resting on the tabs, as you see here. Now for the collar. Pick up the link and you'll notice there's a little slit in it. Slide the bell onto the link and then slide the link onto the collar. Use an adhesive to attach the collar under the reindeer head. Now if you're afraid of losing the bell, you can attach it to the box. Now let's do a large Santa box. 
Since the Santa has smaller pieces, I've used this sticker maker. It's great for getting adhesive on all those small little bits. The large Santa head comes with the base, the beard, hat, mittens with trimmings, eyes, and nose. Start from the top and place the pom-pom for the hat at the top of the base, and then the hat fits under the pom-pom, lining up the edges of the hat. For the beard, I'm using glue stick and bringing the adhesive to the edge of the cutout shape. Place it on the base, tucking it underneath the hat and lining up with the sides of the base. Now for the eyes, I'm placing them with tweezers because it's easier to place smaller items precisely where I want them without my big old hands getting in the way. Place them right on the whites that are part of the beard. Now I'll add foam tape to the nose just to give him a little bit more character. Lastly, I'll trim off the mittens. For the large box, you need to cut two of the box base. Arrange the bases so that the tab sides are opposite each other and that the slots are opposite too. Find the score lines on one of the bases and put strong adhesive on within the square base, pretty close to the score lines and edges. Take the second base and line up the edges to the score line. Make sure you're actually not touching the score, but in a little bit. This gives the box a little bit more room to bend and gives you a neater fold. Fold along the score lines. And now you know the drill. Bring the two tab sides up and, and slide one of the slots over the tabs. Add your treats. Bring the second side up and place the slot over the tabs. We'll decorate this side with Santa. Now I want to give the Santa a little bit more room for the hands to go. So I'm placing adhesive on the bottom of the hat, uh, on the bottom of the beard, and I'll place that right around where the box curves the most. See how it leans back on the tab? Now decide how you want your hands to go. I think he should look like he's holding his belly. He'd be cute holding a little name tag too. I'll use a little foam tape for dimension. Our holiday favor boxes. They're super cute and easy to make. These boxes sit flat, or if you punch a hole through the tab, they could even hang from a tree. I hope you give them a try. Have a great day.